Welcome to Biddy Bum Boutique TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this simple big girl hair bow. Let's get started with the supplies you're going to need. To make this 4 inch hair bow you're going to need 36 inches of 1 and a half inch ribbon. You're going to need 6 and a half inches of this 5 eighths inch ribbon for the knot. 4 and a half inches of 3 eighths inch wide ribbon. A clip, I'm going to be using a double prong alligator clip, but you can use the single prong also. A lighter or um, heat sealer, some wire, and a glue gun. The first step is going to be to line our alligator clip with our ribbon. So again, this is um, four and a half inches of three eighths inch wide ribbon. And so you're going to start by opening your clip. So this is the top of your clip with where the slant is. You're going to open it and flip it over and put some glue on this. So it's the underside of the top part of the clip. And you can flip it back around so you can line it up. And you're just going to start place one end of your ribbon on that glue. Now you can close your clip and we're going to line the top of our clip with some glue. Fold the ribbon over. And then finish off. So you can either put the um, glue right on the clip, but for the rest of this I like to just put the glue, well for this little piece I'll put it on the clip. And once I get to this part, then I just line the rest of my ribbon with the glue and then fold it inside the, that part and then along the bottom. So I don't line the whole entire bottom of the clip, just this little piece. Okay, and then just make sure that's all good and secure. Next we're going to make the knot for the center of our bow. This is with our six and a half inch length of five eighths inch wide ribbon. You just make a simple knot. You don't want to pull it super tight. You want it to be a little bit loose because it's going to lay on the center of our bow. We're going to put that to the side. And now we have our 36 inch long piece of one and a half inch wide ribbon and we're going to make our bow with this. So you're going to start by folding a ribbon in half and making a nice crease at the end. Then you're going to go to the end, that's the tails, and you're going to fold it down about two inches. Let's measure. It's about two inches, a little more, about two and a fourth inches. And you're going to crease that and then fold the bow in half again. And really squeeze on those creases because that's going to be your guide for folding the loops. So when you open it up you can see you have the, the creases. So you're going to go to one end of your ribbon and you can see I have my crease here and then the crease here. So I'm going to take this piece that has the end and kind of with the creases I'm making like an X just like that and I'm going to hold it in place with my pointer finger and my thumb right there Then I'm going to come around on this side and here's my next crease and it's going to go um, like an X right across that one right in the middle and now I'm going to hold both of those loops with my pointer finger and my thumb. Now you're going to bring this piece, here's my next crease down here, this piece is going to fold down and we're going to tuck it under between the bottom piece and then this piece with the little bit that we have cut off. So this piece is going to just slide into there right into the middle. So that's what it looks like on the bottom. And then we have one more loop and here's the rest of our ribbon. This one is going to fold up and make the X across the top, across the middle. So that's what it should look like. 
That's the top. And this is the bottom. And you're just holding it there in place. Now we're going to take our wire, which I already cut a piece of my wire off, but this is just 26 gauge floral wire. That's all I use. And so I have my wire ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is crease the middle. So I'm going to fold up right into the middle and then I'm going to fold my sides down. So I'll show you that again. I'm going to fold up and then fold my sides down. And then I'm just going to take my wire and wrap it around the center of the bow a couple of times. Now I'm not going to tighten it yet. First I'm going to shape my bow before I really tighten that wire. So I kind of look, make sure things look even. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to flip it over and I have my two strands of wire here. I use a pair of pliers to pull on the wire really tight just so that I know it's um, not going to come loose. So I pull on those and then I cut off the extra wire. Just kind of fold those pieces down. And then I take my pliers and now I just squeeze the middle just to flatten it. And so that's what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. So now we're going to attach our knot. So it's going to go right here in the center. So I'm going to add some glue right here to the middle. Place my knot right there. And then just kind of wrap these the sides around and then you're going to pull out your loops as you're holding it tight. Just like that. Make sure I got that one down there. And then I flip it over and then I add some glue on the sides. And so this is the glue gun I use. It's called the Sure Bonder and it has a really fine tip. It's really good for hair bow making um, because it's only lets out a little bit of glue at a time so you don't have those globs. So I just glued the two sides like that just to keep that secure and now I'm going to attach my alligator clip. So it's going to go right there and again I'm going to add some glue right down the center, or right on the back of this bow and then just hold my alligator clip for just a minute or a couple seconds. And now we're going to open the alligator clip and glue down the rest of the knot. You can trim this just so it's out of the way until you glue it. So I'm putting glue on the back of the alligator clip on the inside. I have the alligator clip open and I'm putting glue on the inside and putting gluing down one side of the knot. And I'm going to cut that extra off. And now I still have the other side of my knot, the other tail of that, that I'm going to glue right here. So more glue under the clip that's open. And I'm gluing down that other side of the knot. And we're going to cut off that extra. Okay, and so now your clip is attached, your bow is formed. The only thing is you don't want to leave your tails like this, frayed like that. So a quick way to fix that is to get a lighter. Make sure you already have a straight line cut and then you're just going to slowly go right up next to it to burn those edges to prevent it from fraying. If, if your ribbon is a lighter color, you just want to be very careful that you don't burn it because then it will turn black. So if that happens, you just cut it off and do another section. I'm going to burn the other side. Just like that. So then that ribbon won't fray. And 
there we go. We have a four inch hair bow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bitty Bum Boutique.